The Earth is an extremely active planet, and the rocks on the surface are constantly being recycled. However, the structure and chemical makeup of the rocks depends exactly how that recycling happened. Different types of rocks are broken down into different categories. One common type of rocks are sedimentary rocks, where layers of material have been deposited over time. This material is then crushed by the weight of everything on top of it, and it forms a solid structure. Then again, existing rocks can be changed by extreme heat or pressure, or even movements of liquids or gases into or out of the rocks. This can result in the structure being altered, or even having their chemical composition changed. This change or metamorphism of the rocks is these types of rocks are called metamorphic rocks. The final broad type of rocks are igneous rocks, which comes from the Latin ignis, meaning fire. Literally, these are fire rocks. So these are formed by the cooling of molten rock normally ejected out of active volcanoes. Of course, there are many more than just these three types of rock. Just those are the main categories to start us off. For instance, different categories of sedimentary rocks are broken down into where most of the sediment came from. Sedimentary rocks, these sources of raw materials can be things like plants, which can in turn form coal, lignite, and even jet. Alternatively, the sources can be animals, especially the shells of animals, which can turn into limestone, chalk, and chert. But finally, the sedimentary rocks the weathering or eroding of other forms of rock, either physically or chemically, can generate the material for new rocks like iron ore, breccia, sandstone, siltstone, shale, even mudstone. Now looking closer at metamorphic rocks, the main element of change here is heat, normally in what's known as the volcanic arc. It doesn't mean that rock actually has to be in a volcano, just close enough to the volcano or the magma that the heat can then transform the rock. So for instance, shale can be converted into slate, or limestone can be converted into marble. These rocks are subjected to a greater heat or heat for a longer period and can undergo further transformations. Generally, like firing in an oven, the heat treated metamorphic rocks are harder than the original. Now you might think that since igneous rocks all come from volcanoes, they would all be similar. Now these can be very varied. Part is due to the starting material, and it's how they emerge from the volcano, and finally it's how they cool that determines what type of rock can be formed. So at one end of the scale you have pumice, it has gas bubbles trapped, trapped within the rock due to explosive volcanic eruptions. It results in a very light rock. Alternatively, the other end of the scale you have the dense igneous rocks like granite, basalt and gabbro. These cool very slowly and evenly any gas present in the rocks can escape, being behind a dense, hard rock. Of course, this is just an introduction to rocks, barely scratches the surface of different types of rocks and their properties. Look, doing more videos on individual rocks and minerals in the future.